Hello and welcome. My name is Cal Wodrowski and in this lesson, Shelley and I will be teaching the gentleman's contra turn. Before we get started, I want to mention a few things. First of all, for people who happen to be new to these lessons, if you're new to this dance and if you're interested in learning how to do this dance, I do recommend that you watch the lessons in numerical order. I also recommend that you watch the lessons that are in the playlist that I've called Brand New Series. If you find that playlist, you'll find all the lessons in numerical order, which makes it real handy. And I would also encourage you to consider just avoiding or ignoring the lessons that are in the original series. And then another point that I want to bring up, apparently there are some people who've been watching these lessons for some period of time now that have been under the impression that I have removed some of the lessons. But for the most part, all of the videos that I posted from the beginning on this channel are still there. However, I do want you to be aware that I've made many of the videos unpublished. That simply means that maybe six months ago, if you were to go to YouTube and do a search for country two-step lessons, rhythm two-step, certain videos that I put up might show up. If you do the exact same search today, many of them won't necessarily show up, and it's because I've made them unpublished. They're still on my channel, but for logistical reasons, I've unpublished a lot of them. So in order to find all the lessons that are available, I encourage you to go to my channel and either go to the option that says uploads, which would pretty much be all of the videos that are available to watch, and they're all going to be in reverse order, like the newest one first, and then they're going to go all the way back. Or go to my channel and choose one of the playlists. Find the link that says playlist, and there's five or six playlists there. Find the playlist that you're interested in, and all those videos will tend to still be there, even though they won't necessarily show up if you simply type in rhythm two-step or whatever. Also, again, maybe more for people that are a little bit new to these lessons or new to my channel, but these dance lessons are completely free and they're intended to help teach people all over the country and the world how to do this dance if they're interested in doing so. These lessons are also comprehensive lessons. They're not just bits and pieces of lessons, they're not teasers, and they're not partial lessons. The idea is that hopefully even people with no dancing experience can learn this dance if they want to. Therefore, I try to cover everything you'd ever want to know about this dance and about the individual moves that we're teaching. So, yes, I know the lessons are a little bit long, but I would rather cover too much information than leave some stuff out, make them really short, and then have people wondering or having people run into glitches along the way. Now, as you might imagine, a lot of time goes into putting these lessons together. A lot of time goes into the preparation in advance. A lot of time goes into the taping. For instance, when uh, Shelly and I do a lesson that ends up being 10 minutes long, it's not unusual for Shelly and I to spend 45 minutes or an hour or longer doing the taping process. And then the time that it takes to edit that down is also very lengthy. So why am I doing all of this, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. Sometimes I wonder that myself. You know, down the road, I just may come to realize that I put way too much time and energy uh, into putting these lessons together. However, I am hopeful that because of these lessons, people's lives will be blessed. I'm hopeful that possibly husbands might learn how to dance and take their wives out dancing if they enjoy country music. I'm hopeful that these lessons may open up doors for people to go out and socialize and meet people more, or maybe people who really would like to get up off the sofa and be a little bit more active. Maybe it'll open doors for that. So if people benefit from these lessons, that's really what I get out of it. That's why when I say in many of these lessons, I appreciate your subscriptions, or we appreciate when you give the thumbs up, or appreciate you watching, I'm sincere and genuine when I say that, because that's mostly what I get or what Shelly and I get out of putting these lessons together. So having said all that, Thank you for watching, and I'll go ahead and grab Shelly, and we'll go ahead and get started in this lesson. Okay, in this lesson and the next lesson, we're going to teach a little bit of a variation on gentlemen's terms. I would definitely put this in the category of intermediate to advanced. It's something that if you find a little tricky and you don't want to try it, you don't have to, obviously. But I would encourage you to do it because if you do it and practice it several times, you can incorporate it with all the regular inside and outside turns that we've been doing whenever you want to. And it just kind of helps you step things up a notch. 
This first one that we're doing, I'm going to call a contra turn, a gentleman's contra turn. And I'm calling it that because while Shelly is doing an outside turn, at the same time, the gentleman's going to do an inside turn. And it's going to go like this. We'll just show it first. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go ahead and try to break that down a little bit. And then I'm even going to further break it down for the gentleman so you can practice the footwork with me a little bit. I'm starting out by just doing a regular basic, one, two, three, four, five, six. What we're going to do on that five, six is I'm bringing her arm down and letting her know she is going to do a lady's free spin, because I'm going to bring the arm down, I'm going to give her a little shove. Um, she, the lady isn't even going to know I'm doing a contra turn. She's not necessarily going to know that I'm going to turn the other direction. I will say that this will sometimes throw women off a little bit, because even if you give them a spin, it's kind of unusual for them to be going that way and you're going this way and so sometimes women will stop but most of the time you can do this with women who have not done it a lot and they'll tend to follow it so again I'm going to signal her on the 5-6 to do a free spin and then what you're going to see me doing is and that's what's really different about it is I'm going to turn to my right on a 1-2-3-4 and of course if I do that if you can just stay right there for a moment Shelly if I do that and I travel too far, she's going to be going that way and we're going to get too far apart. So I'm not going to go one, two, I'm not going to go this way. You'll see what I'm doing, but I need to kind of be conscious of where I'm at because we're going to come right back together. So again, I'm going to signal on five, six, letting her do a free spin while I turn clockwise on a one, two, three touch or one, two, three, four. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shelly, if you want to go ahead and give me a moment, I'm going to break this down a little bit for the gentleman. Again, what, um, another thing that's a little bit different, gentlemen, is normally we touch when we get to one, two, three, touch, five, touch. We're normally touching on the four and the six. But here, we're not going to put our foot down on the six when we're doing that, um, that when we're signaling her. Instead, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to just have our foot in the air. I'm going to try to break this down where you can follow along. Because if you do this a few times and then do it with a partner, you'll get it and you'll be able to do it. So this is the tricky part in my mind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do it very slow here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, touch, five, touch. If you want to follow along, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do that nice and slow. So the one, two, three, four, five, six is almost like we normally do it, except for on that six, I'm just leaving my foot up and I'm kind of getting ready to go this way with the one. So. Here we go in one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a little different because I'm kind of doing a one, two. I'm kind of moving this way like I would with an inside turn, but then I'm going to want to get back with her three, four. So I'm kind of going this way, but then three, four. I'm going to do it one more time, gentlemen, if you want to follow along. And then I'll do it with Shelly if you've got a partner and you want to practice with a partner. So, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when I do that, maybe Shelly would have been over there, but you end up just kind of naturally just coming together. It's not always going to be perfect, but it'll tend to work. So, that's a good thing to practice on your own, gentlemen. Shelly, if you want to go ahead and come back out here. And let's go ahead and uh, do that again. Again, there's nothing really new for the lady. If she knows how to do a lady's free spin, and if you signal her on that 5-6, and if you're fairly firm, you don't have to turn. But when you're fairly firm, and give her a little shove. Help her get that momentum. Because especially when you're going this way, if you don't make that intentional and obvious, she's probably going to go, okay, I'm missing something, and she's just going to stand there. So... And you can do this turn, gentlemen. You can do the contra turn without the lady turning, but I never do. Let's go ahead and do that one. So even if you feel me push you out of habit, don't turn. 
Okay? So you could do it this way, but I never do, and I'm not suggesting it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not as fun. Yeah, it's. Anyway, so, Shelly, let's go ahead and uh, do that. So, if you've got a partner and you want to follow along, I'm going to signal her on the five, six, give her a little bit of a shove. Remember, gentlemen, you're not going to put your foot down on that five or on that six. Instead, you're going to get ready to be going this way with the one. So, we're going to do this a couple times slowly. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you might hear me kind of tapping my feet a little bit more than usual. I don't normally dance noisy, but I'm kind of doing a little bit of this intentional just so you know when I'm tapping and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that again. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Shelly, let's go ahead and turn around and do it a couple times from this angle. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it again. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Okay, a couple things. We're going to turn music on. I encourage you to go ahead and follow along with this, but I, I, I should mention a couple things. Um, this turn and the next one that we're going to teach, I, I would strongly recommend that if you're new to this dance or new to these turns, I would strongly recommend that you practice what we're teaching this lesson Maybe even go out and do it several times. And once you really feel comfortable and you've got it down, then do the next lesson. Shelly actually suggested maybe I shouldn't do these two lessons back to back. Maybe it's a mistake. I do think that for a lot of guys, if they try to watch these two lessons back to back and then go out and do it, you're going to you're gonna very easily possibly mix up the two moves. So be aware of that. Consider not watching this lesson and then the next one. Get this down, then move on. We're going to turn music on, but what I'm going to do, what I want to do here is do a little mini putting it all together thing. I'm going to show you an example of how you can do this with a few other turns. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a basic, a lady's outside turn, immediately going into a gentleman's inside turn. Then we're going to do a basic, and then we're going to do this contra turn. Ready, and a basic. And a lady's outside turn, immediately a gentleman's inside turn. I'm going to do a basic here, and then I'm going to do the contra turn that we just taught. Very nice. So let's go ahead and turn around and do it one more time here, and then we'll turn some music on. Same exact thing again. Here we go. A basic, lady's outside turn, immediately a gentleman's inside turn, a basic, and then the contra turn. Just like that, very good. And of course, I just picked, we're starting out after the basic with the ladies outside, the gentleman's inside, but it's un unlimited, almost the options you could be doing. I'm just picking a couple moves. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put music on. We're gonna do that exact same thing. I'm gonna try to find a slow song and encourage you to follow along. So if you do this uh, several times, uh, you'll get this down. So I'm gonna get some music on. Okay, we're going to do the same thing Shelly and I just did. If you want to follow along, I would encourage you to do so. We're going to start with a basic. Ready, and a basic. Ladies outside turn. Gentlemen's inside turn. A basic, and then the contra turn. Good, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of dance our way over here. We're going to do it again. We're going to do a basic first, all right? Here we go. Ready, here, basic. Basic, ladies outside turn. Gentlemen's inside turn. Another basic, and then the contra turn. And we're going to do it one more time. So we're going to do a basic. Here we go, basic. Basic, ladies outside turn. Gentlemen's inside turn. A basic. Then the contra turn.
Well, that is the gentleman's contra turn. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit different, stepping it up a notch again, as I said. And uh, I would definitely encourage you to practice it. Practice it, do it several times. And then when you go out dancing with your partner or with friends, just to incorporate it in there. And then again, at some point, uh, do the next lesson after this one, which is gonna be another variation on a gentleman's turn. And I, I just wanna warn you so that you don't uh, confuse the two. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. And whatever you do, remember to dance like nobody's watching.